Hello, my name is Carolyn Peeler and I'm really happy that you can join me today in this tutorial for Ellen Hudson. We're going to start with using the Clearly Besotted Fancy Feather Stamp Set. We're going to use the smallest feather stamp from that set and stamp it onto some vellum with the Ranger Embossic Clear Embossing Ink. After stamping, we're going to go ahead and sprinkle the gold embossing powder over top of what we just stamped. And then we'll tap, tap, tap that vellum to just try to remove um, any excess embossing powder that is on it. Then we can go ahead and start our heat gun and emboss the embossing powder to get it melted for a nice finish. When we're done, we can go ahead and trim our vellum down so that it's a little bit more manageable. And then we're going to go ahead and layer it on top of the die. You can see that I have put scotch tape on the back side of my die. And then I went ahead and put the vellum over top. And that scotch is just going to help keep things in place while we die cut. For the next step, we're going to go ahead and make the watercolor paper that's across the bottom of the card. For this, we're going to use three different distress inks, the Tumbled Glass, Broken China, and Stormy Sky. And then we're going to smush them onto this Ranger craft, nonstick craft sheet and spray the water um, with the spray bottle onto those ink splotches. And you can see that I sprayed once and then I decided to add a bit more water. And that was simply because I decided that there wasn't enough water to ink ratio to get it as smooth uh, and as light of a color as I would like. So then you just go ahead and put the color onto your watercolor paper. You can see at first I just sort of did a general pass um, with the colors and now I'm going to go ahead and start to pool some of the colors. And that is so that you have nice depth and um, a difference in the variegation of color so that it's not just all sort of a flat blue watercolor but so that there's um, really some light and dark spots on the paper that will come through on the card. That's just going to add a little bit extra visual interest to your card. Once you have your um, watercolor done to a point where you like it, you can allow it to either air dry or if you'd like, you can go ahead and take your heat gun and set it that way. Alrighty, next we're going to prep our die cuts. We're going to layer the vellum on top of your white cardstock. Then what we're going to do is we're going to sew down the center of that um, vellum to hold the pieces onto our background cardstock. And you can see I have just done that with my sewing machine. Next thing is you're going to go ahead and bend the corners of those feathers up, both layers, both the vellum layer and the cardstock layer. And what that's going to do is that's going to create your feather having a 3D effect to the front of your card, which is just a really cool effect, um, gets you your lumpy bumpy. All right, it's greeting time. We're going to use the Sorry You're Feeling Down greeting, which is part of the stamp set. Using the worn lipstick distress marker, we're going to color the entire word Sorry so that it has a nice coat of the lightest of the pink. And then using the pickled raspberry distress ink, we're just going to hit a few areas to give it some, um, some color depth. Next thing is we're going to use the Memento Tuxedo Black Cat Eye uh, ink pad and stamp the rest of this saying. The cat eye is nice because you can get in really precise areas. Then we're going to go ahead and stamp it onto a strip of white cardstock. And it's time for assembly. The paper pattern paper that we're using is from the Studio Calico Bright and Pure paper pad. That's that pink paper. And I cut it to size um, to fit the front of the card. Then we have our watercolor piece that I have also cut to size so it fits the front of a card. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our little die cut piece. And that's kind of going, gonna go front and center onto the card. Now before you stick it all the way down onto your card front and adhere it really great, I recommend that you take the greeting just as I've done here and lay the greeting in place to see if you like where everything is. I realized I needed to move my cardstock up about uh, a quarter of an inch or so. So, um, so that's what I did. 
And now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the adhesive onto the greeting and glue the greeting down across the front of the card. Given that that strip is a little bit long, we're gonna have to go ahead and trim it. So I just opened up the card and went ahead with my scissors and using the card line as, um, as my cutting line, I just went ahead and trimmed that off. So we're nearly done, but I decided I wanted to add a little bit more sewing because I am a real big fan of the sewing. So I went and did that at my sewing machine and then I've come back and I'm just gonna go ahead and round the corners on the upper and lower right hand side of that card. I think it just sort of gives it a bit of a fresh, modern um, look to the card as opposed to having the four sides nice and straight. So thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate you spending the time and I hope to see some of your creations using this stamp set.